Hey you guys, this is Sheldon and uh, I'm going to do a video for you. Um, this is going to be really fun because I'm going to do the, something that uh, is pretty pretty gutsy. Um, Arthur has asked on this, did I do a video on this Frankfurt uh, paper. This is the cream that I'm going to use on the white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video on a paper that I've never used before, never tried before, and I'm going to use it using the most difficult medium, which is watercolor. So um, this is a thrill seeker. Imagine if you will, Sheldon is a thrill seeker. Um, but first I'm gonna um, take you out into my world. Um, we're gonna do a landscape. So what I do is I live vicariously through my friend. This is Dave, Dave Master who, oh my God, there's a rattlesnake. What he does is he goes on walks every day and then he takes pictures and sends them to me and uh, uh, there's a rattlesnake, and um, and then he, uh, but he goes out there. I walk. I walk from my studio to the kitchen. I walk from my studio to the bathroom. Um, he's out in in this crazy place called daylight and fresh air. And and I've read about it. Um, and uh, generally, uh, you know, a lot of times I figure, well, if I want if I want daylight, I'll just Google it. And if I want fresh air, I'll Google that too. But <clears throat> I don't know, I'm a professional artist, so I spend my whole time in a dark studio in front of computer monitors. And But if I want to do outside stuff, then I find people who go outside and then they take pictures for me. So these are all photos that he took outside in that place called Outside. And um, like this is uh, like real plants, but you know, I hear that they can cause rashes on you. And I don't know what's hiding behind here. It could be a lion, tiger, or a bear, or worse, it could be an oh my. So what I do is I just use this, oh, there's a rattlesnake. Um, and then like here, look how pretty that is. And I know it's really pretty because I'm looking at it on my new iPad Pro, which is really pretty. So really, why do I need to go outside and see pretty things when I can see it here and have coffee and Oreo cookies? So like this is a plant and I don't know if people are smoking this thing or doing things with it. I don't want to because I have Oreo cookies and it gives me the same stuff. This is a, a, a walking path. You walk down here, you see, and you can walk. But I don't know what's on the other side over there. It could be the oh my or the lion and the tiger or the bear. Um, but I have my travel watercolor kit that I use in places that are really dangerous, like restaurants. Um, delis are dangerous because um, sometimes they give you pickles that aren't, like, you know, firm. So this is my watercolor kit, and I'm going to use that. And then this is my water thing for my water kit. And then um, it fits right on there. See it? If, so like if I'm in the deli and it falls, it doesn't come off. And um, not a lot of water, so if it falls on the floor, nobody knows. This is my travel brush. I've got beautiful brushes. I got like six, seven hundred dollar brushes, but this one's really pretty, and it's just a connoisseur. And it wasn't supposed to be a good brush. We have an art supply store and they go, that's not a good brush. And I said, well, I'll take it anyways. And it's like a $70 brush and it's sexy. This is a sexy brush. Um, this is where I put my water and some people put other stuff in here, um, which kind of ruins marriages and stuff. Also, it can get you pregnant if you're, you know, a teenager. But this for me is water and uh, I just kind of put water in here. Now, this is real important. This is what I use to... I dab the brush. Often, most of the time, I just shake the brush, but sometimes you're on white carpeting at a friend's house and they get pissed. So this I stole from a cruise ship. So if you want this, you need to get on the cruise ship, then you need to go to the Italian restaurant and say to the waiter, can I steal this? And he'll say no, but he'll look away from you. And then when he looks away from you, he says, I'm going to look away from you now, and then I stole it. So this is a napkin, which is a really cool napkin. And uh, I stole it from an, from an Italian restaurant on a cruise ship. All right, are you ready? We're going to do a watercolor on this paper. It's Frankfurt paper. It's supposed to have a rag content. This is a laid finish when you're in the world of paper. And uh, don't get excited. It's a laid finish, you guys, um, not other things. And uh, are you ready? Let's go on a journey into doing a watercolor. And I'm going to do it on several different videos and Arthur will probably post them. This is a spread right here. So this is spread on laid, and um, I don't know what you're gonna do with that. So here we go, in my studio, in the great outdoors, we're gonna do a landscape, okay. 